of Nairobi and also as the chair of the Committee of Labor and the Council of Governors to welcome you to your first Labor Day celebrations as the President of the Republic of Kenya. Karibu sana, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, nisikumuimu sana. This is a historic day. Many don't know when Labor Day started. It started in 1886 when we had uh, agitation for the eight-hour workday um, in Chicago as well as Australia and created a worldwide movement of laborers. And it's a day that we hold to remember the sacrifices of our workers, the sacrifices that they make every day. I want to particularly honor the sacrifices made by the workers of Nairobi County Government who toil every day to make sure we have a city of honor, a city of order, a city of dignity, killer sequel. And Your Excellency, I'm glad to report that we have honored their work by making sure that they are paid on time, that they get their allowances on time. In the last eight months, Your Excellency, Nairobi County, every 27th of the month, Simu inalia, watu wamepata pesa yao, and I want to thank you because that part of that is because of your support. But beyond that, it is because they as workers have been able to increase our collections. I am happy to report that this year, if you compare January to March 2023, compared to January to March 2022, we have exceeded revenue collection by 673 million shillings, courtesy of the workers of Nairobi. And in the month of April alone, We've collected 800 million, the highest April ever since devolution started. That is courtesy of the workers of Nairobi, Tuapigie Makofi. Your Excellency, yesterday we missed you. Traditionally, every last Sunday of April, there is a service that is held at St. Stephen's SEK to pray for the workers. That service is held in a very historic church. And as I took the members through a bit of that history, that church started in what today is parliament buildings, where the National Assembly sits. But because the colonial government then wanted to build parliament, the church was moved to Eastlands and became a cathedral that only the Africans could use because there was real apartheid and segregation. And that was in 1902 when they were moved. But that church, together with the labor movement, have been an integral part of the journey of independence in Kenya. Because in the 50s, when the colonialists segregated and divided Kenyans along tribal lines, when the Kikuyus and people from Mount Kenya were moved out of uh, Kaloleni and Makongeni into Bahati, Tom Boyer, a young man in his 20s, a Kanjo worker, decided to agitate. The colonialists murdered Mbotela, a councillor called Tom Botella, in what is now Bama Market, 24th of November 1952, just after the state of emergency, to try and bring tribal tensions. It didn't work. The next year, they murdered Ofafa, which is where we get the estate of Ofafa Jericho. Because when they murdered him, they came, two hours later, they burnt down Bama Market. The people stayed calm. The next year, they murdered Ofafa at the same place the people stayed calm because they were trying to create a tribal rift by saying these people, Luo councillors, Motela and Ofafa, were murdered by Mau Mau. Two men, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga and Tom Boya, went round Kaloneni Social Hall, Muzuro Social Hall in Makongeni, telling the people from the community to calm down and not to protest and not to cause chaos. Today, Your Excellency, we need Jaramogi Odinga, Oginga Odinga, we need Tom Boya to go around again Nairobi, telling the people to calm down, to stay peaceful, not to be divided along tribal lines, and not to enter into any violent action. We need that today just as we needed it back in that day in 1952. Tom Boya, a great labor leader, if he was to wake up today, I'm sure he will be proud of the labor movement. He will be proud of Francis Atuli because of the work you have done. And I want to thank you, my own dad, for what you have been to us. Ata kama last year, ulikuwa umenda njia ingine tafauti na sisi na jua uliambia wafanyikazi wanipigia kura. Na nashukuru wafanyikazi kwa sababu mlinipigia kura, but sasa mwona Papa Francis Atuli amerudi ako kwa line na anasupport raiswetu William Samoye Ruto. Thank you very much.
Your Excellency, very quickly, I know many people who have come here today have experienced the challenge of drainage that we are facing in Nairobi today. A lot of our roads are flooded, a lot of our highways are flooded because of a number of things. Number one, a lot of illegal dumping has been going on in the city. Number two, Your Excellency, I know some of the works are going on. We have sat with Kenha and Kura. We have gotten a contractor on Huru Highway and Wayakiwe to finish the work. Because when they did the expressway, Nikamba Olivkiria watu wa Jupekea, watu wa Chini wa Kasaulika. So our teams are going down the county, sorting out that challenge of drainage. But we have agreed with the Director General of NEMA. Nairobi is the environment capital of the world. We host UNEP. Paper bags that are plastic and bottles had been burned, but they have come back. In a week, we are going to go into another operation to make sure that plastic paper bags that have been burned, because they are the ones clogging our drainage, are no longer in our markets, are no longer in our supermarkets, because we must keep our city clean. I want to thank you because we've been able now, um, and towards the end of this week, to Nandika, Vijana Elfutatu Miatano, ambao watakuja kusaidia kufagia Nairobi na kusafisha wale wafanyikazi ambao walikuwa wanafanya hiyo kazi tukiwa watoto ndio bado wanafanya leo wamekuwa wachache na wamezeeka so wiki hii ikienda kuisha vijana 3500 na kina mama wataandikwa kazi Nairobi hii watusaidie na kazi hiyo jambo lingine kwa sababu leo ni siku ya wafanyikazi na nakushukuru kwa sababu najua kwa taifa lote unafanya Nairobi tayari tuko na community health promoters ama CHVs 7460 your excellency kila mwezi tarehe 27 mpesa inatingika wanapata pesa yao bila kuchelewa na nimeshukuru kwa sababu umesema as a national government unatuongezea elfu nyingine mbili so wa Nairobi watakuwa wanapata elfu tano, mia tano, mia tano tunawalipia NHIF elfu tano tulisema pesa mfukuni asante sana Your Excellency nikienda kumalizia nafikiri ni muhimu kusema ya kwamba every labor day there is a pronouncement on minimum wage sometimes it increases sometimes it stays stagnant Whenever you make that announcement, the public sector is always very quick to comply. The public sector. But the private sector, tuko na shida. Sekta moja ambayo najua ni sekta ya private security workers. Maaskari wetu. Maaskari wetu ambao wanalala usiku, wana, wanalala mchana ndio usiku wawe kazini na mara nyingi hata mchana hawalali kwa sababu wanashikilia kazi mbili wanalipo elfu ine, wanalipo elfu tano, yet we pronounce minimum wage above 13,000 shillings. Many of these private companies zina charge wenye manyumba 30,000 shillings kwa uwa askari moja, 50,000 shillings kwa askari moja, alafu unalipa mtu elfu sita. Kwa uchumi hii, your excellency ni jambo la kusikitisha sana. Tusaidie kwa private security workers. Najua Isaac Andabu wako hapa mahali, ndo yule, kukaa wangu ambaye ndiyo secretary general bado utawatetea na naomba excellency uwakaribishe siku moja waje state house kuna wakati niliwapeleka huko awali ilikuwa mara ya kwanza tangu Mungu ajenge Kenya askari kuingia state house state house inalindwa na GSU na waliingia wakaongea lakini hajatekelezwa i know in your government you are going to do something good because there are 450000 of them across Kenya there are 250000 of them in Nairobi ya mwisho ambao ni wafanyikazi wanaumia ni madereva wetu wa Uber, madereva wa Taxify, madereva wa Bolt, how madereva wa the digital hailing companies. These companies because of competition na tumefanya regulations tayari ambazo ziko kwa waziri Murkomen. They race to the bottom. Today you will take a taxi from here to the airport na ulipe 600. 90% of the accidents we have is because these drivers have to drive for 22 hours a day to make money. The Competition Authority and the AA of Kenya can come up with a pricing formula. Yo kazi tayari tulifanya. It is just to gazette those regulations. Ili pia kadere, ayezo kupata kitu. In town, we have designated spots for them to pick and drop. Walikuwa wanashikwa. So, Excellency, kwa hayo mengi, ningependa kumwalika. 
Asante, asante sana. Amenikumbusha jambo jingine. But Your Excellency, I would like to invite uh, Federation of Kenya Employers as she comes, please take that point seriously. Those people are suffering. Those drivers are really suffering. We thank you for your support and allow me to introduce now uh, Jacqueline Mugo, FKE um, Chair. I forgot to mention the area MP Jalango is here. Please wave to Undo MP Wapalangata. Thank you. No.